Conservation agriculture is a new concept recently introduced in the Gambia. It is funded by the Building Food Against Nutrition Insecurity in the Sahel, a sub-project under NEMA. Coordination and implementation of the program is mandated to the Department of Agriculture through the regional directories. Conservation agriculture, unlike the control method, is backed by principles. It requires minimum tillage, less fertilizer application. Moreover, it is climate resilient and conserves water and land. The whole aim of the trial is to make comparisons between the two methods. The program commenced with the training of 16 agricultural staff at the Bakindik Mixed Farming Center in North Bank region. The program, which was organized between the 27th and 30th of November 2016, aims at introducing the concept conservation agriculture into the Gambia's agricultural system. <laughs> Okay. On the 27th of March 2017, 
the P2RS embarked on a countrywide tour to assess the outcome of the training of farmers on conservation agriculture that was conducted in Juno, Lower River region. Beneficiaries made comparisons between the two methods and highlighted the impacts of the CA, which gave authorities the hope that the new method would work in the Ghana. <laughs> I am Banduko Soniandi, I Gioko Soniandi. Cat to Tempest or Nata Jawato in the Bill Motagino in Natana. Building an infernal tutu, the old man dima, Uato Conigia Mansoto, is he Tilisaba? It is Gia Sotter. But he can't maintain, near Gia Kedi, a startle full of woman ya. But no one ten for a cat and tola do quote a canadro on Cagio, Pajet and ten on Albata and you be a fat. Near Jalia Tarateng. As a matter of generation, ibe jam betar la wala nyaama bar do ale ko la nyinam yo be kala wala nyaam fo mbi duala fo ala ye ma be ni nga taaku asataram pareta kam ni pareta kam abata do ko keta nyaam ni do ko soni ata bake Conservation method bi ñoy demone jinoy dem jangé ko fofu nonu wa gis né né dal lu am njiriñ la parce que liggéey bi dafa easy be bu gadé tambu bu fi sun daan défal sun bét ci dañoo gas be bu gadé way légui gis né né gas bi légui lu simple la té rosé bi tamit soné ñu nonu bu ba tamit rosé bi da nga ñew bén bét di ko def ñaari wotari nkar nga dé use fofu nonu way last time method bu ñu use bo bén bét di nga def more than four wotari nkar sometimes walum bay bi tamit bobu tamit bobu tam yomba na fa torop bay bi tamit legui yomba na ci ñun conservation method bi amut bay bu bari da nga ñew rek ci ron taati li nga ji fofu non rek ngay laal tuuti rek bay waye benen bi da nga daan bay fi nga def ak fi nga def sa ding fa bay wa si man wali engere bi tamit li nga def ci benen bu ndaan def bu ndaan gas be bu gade ak conservation method bi da fa uté tamit conservation method bi li nga def tan ko ñu def ci taati li nga ji fofu non su de super me nga def tuuti ngay def ci taat bi li nga def lu tuti lol non tamit suba be me rek mom moko ndiriño ak xana ñax yu tuti lu faasa waye bele so suyo li bi naka engere bi li nga soxla wut mu am ci engere bi ak be li nga soxla mu am ci engere bi yep ko hecho composition bi daf de hay fofu torop so da nga gis ne lu mo lek ci engere duko mo na so defé ci conservation meta bi lum de am ci bele duko de mo na am non bu baax rawani de me wadi me hibirano me hibir hikani hikano gila me badi me wadi no wiir do menni ene me jangir ne me tindirani me adi me tindiri no hore am me badi no gollal am me hebi hen hunde sam no nam hande giodo basale haato jakatu haato patanse dum fo me medano hem nodde dum no dum fo hikka me hebi no hanere sam ne ko du wadi dum sa anda hunde so neddo jangini mar foti hutorade gollal ma nga ko jangi ma ko ha anda ko heba hen hunde ha sifa chadele seeda ko me hebata hen ko gila to jamandi do sam wobbe hen heno koba etta jamandi o wadde hen wobbe hen non kad sa yidi ñolnude ndiyam dam ara wattu yita ko problem ko dum hodi wot chaale amen bom seeda non kam kala no me jangini rani kulle on jamandi ha on yuppa ha kulle ne me gol halni rani um jamandi on wa irteni ha no gollangal yaarani hono wa irana haani rene 
on don kam hebi hin cadde sera kulle ndiyam dam tande wono problem ono gay allo ko moddo goddo kam me hebi hin hunde tigina ndorin bu ma ci gis moy le fen be gawna trop pax pax yuñ ko def ni mo gëna gaaw bu nga xamna ni dañ ko def bet parce que man ma fi mujjé le fen tutu to man mo mujjé tutu sax bu mo mujjé tutu mo gëna gaaw bu nga xamna mo nekk ci bet bi te ndorin bo mo xawma ko ci won man luma xamon moy bet rek tutu waye depuis ma xam pax ya ba legi suma mbay tef gi mo ngi gaaw to rose me suma yebone 10 ou 10 gok sax ndax pax mi bo rosé bo xéé rosé bo déné ba ngone so ñëw da ngay fekk mu ngi toy légui daal ma ngi def ci gaani da def pax yi ndax bo mo gëna am jëriñ te mo gëna gaaw ci mbayté fi ndax bét bi daf lay yagal te mbayté fi du dem nu nga bëggé mu dem agriculture remains to be the backbone of the gambia's economy and contributes a considerable amount to the gdp Over the years, the sector has experienced major challenges, especially in the areas of soil and water management, which results to low production and productivity. Capacity building on soil and water management issues have been minimal, and this knowledge gap has ramifications on agricultural development. In light of this, there is need to build the capacities of extension workers who are posted across the length and breadth of the country in the areas of soil fertility management, soil and water conservation techniques, care and management of farm implements, water set planning and management, etc. I must uh, take this opportunity to thank you very, very much for the level of participation. I was overwhelmed by the, your level of participation. So I must thank you very much for coming and uh, I believe this spirit of uh, cooperation will continue and uh, I think you will always consult with us together with the team at the project level and the resource persons and as well as the, uh, the regional directors. We can only emphasize on what, they have, on what they have said, but definitely everything behind. You know, the end of this training marks the beginning of the implementation. I mean, the aim of the training was to build a capacity in the sense that we wanted to give you some uh, background, no matter how small, on what conservation agriculture is. At least you all know what the definition is, you all know what it implies. And uh, um, it's not a, a, a story alone. Um, uh, other countries have tried it and they have seen the benefit and they've upscaled, you know, and they are publicizing it. You know, they have showed you where they've come from and where they've ended. And we want this to happen here. And uh, as conservation agriculture is part of one of the technologies that are uh, being promoted to counter the impact or the effects of um, uh, climate change. So people in the same boat should have the same wish. You want this thing to succeed, and uh, inshallah it will succeed, because if it succeeds, we'll have uh, more the opportunity to involve more farmers, and, and as, as time goes on, hopefully the whole country will adopt whatever agriculture as their way of uh, you know, farming. I have very few words to say, and that is, When you came in first, my director welcomed you and wished you a happy stay. And this, I think, we have achieved. And on his behalf, um, we want to thank you for the cooperation and sense of maturity that you have exercised during this um, training. And also by allowing the presenters to present in the right manner. <clears throat> and it was, you also allow the sessions to be very participatory and interactive. Uh, therefore, I have to thank you for that. The Department of Agriculture, together with P2RS, further embarked on a four days countrywide trek to assess and donate herbicides and sprayers to farmers implementing conservation agriculture in their respective regions. This activity was undertaken 
in July 2017. The reason behind implementation of uh, uh, this program is to build resilience uh, against climate change. You know climate change is, is, a, is a burning issue of the day now. I must say that uh, farmers and the regional directors have uh, received this um, uh, input with gladness because uh, it will facilitate in a great way uh, you know, uh, in the mixed farming centers, nowadays we use uh, draft animals. Draft animals, small implements, because uh, the program is based on uh, minimum tillage, uh, permanent crop cover, and, and crop rotation. So the aspect I'm, I want to emphasize on is minimum tillage. Small implements, not tractors, not other, uh, you know, uh, machineries that will uh, destroy the soil but just till the soil minimally so that nutrients are going to be maintained and I must tell you that you know this uh, herbicides the application the use of herbicides also will uh, will help in a great way because it will reduce uh, drudgery in the work so I think you know, uh, the, the farmer couldn't wait to, to, to receive this, uh, this uh, support. We have, though we have started small, but I must tell you that the first uh, in, uh, phase when we implemented the horticultural crop, some of the farmers and some of the extension workers who came and attended the program, attended the training, rolled it out to the farmers, and, and as I speak to you now, some of the farmers have already started, uh, you know, implementing this uh, this conservation agriculture, even without waiting for the scaling up of this uh, program. That is to tell you that uh, it is a technology that the farmers are, are, are ready to embrace. And, uh, and I'm hopeful that in the next five years, uh, probably 80 to 90 percent of the farmers will embrace this program. The technology, as it is uh, proven to be very successful in other countries, uh, I think the farmers should uh, embrace the technology and uh, uh, implement it because it is for their own good and the, 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 the good of the, 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 the entire economy. Uh, in the case of agriculture, it has uh, three main pillars. And uh, uh, first thing is that uh, there is minimum, minimum soil disturbance. Okay? And uh, secondly, you need to have uh, permanent soil cover. It's all the time throughout the year you have the soil covered by vegetation so you don't do any hoeing or any uh, cultivation you only uh, do uh, reaping or you have planting basins so in between the basin you apply herbicide to suppress the grass and then you grow the crops along the rip lines or you put it in the planting basins then the other component is rotation if you have a plot or a field when you plant one crop there after one season another crop comes in because of you know, all the benefits of rotation, like uh, you know, pest management and uh, fertility. Uh, the concept is, is um, caters for three categories of farmers. You have what is called the whole farmer, you have what is called the farmer who has uh, animal drone equipment, you also have the farmer who has uh, tractor implements, with, you know, with, with, with the implements. So, I mean, uh, we have uh, decided uh, at the beginning of the season to include, you know, horticulture so that they will apply the method used by the whole farmer, you know, to adopt cultural agriculture. And in that case, you have to dig only planting basins, you know, and uh, that's what we did with the centers that have been selected in the you know, four regions that are, you know, that where the project operating. And uh, definitely, uh, where we did them, uh, farmers really saw the benefit of the XMM technology. And uh, uh, by next year, we believe that all of them will adopt it uh, in their in their gardens. So people, they have realized uh, you know, economically that uh, water, you know, management part of it is, uh, is true. So that, uh, and also, uh, you know, they concentrate the, the manure and the fertilizer all, you know, in one basin and the plant make maximum use of it. Instead of broadcasting it all over the bed, some of them, you know, will not be used by the plant. So I think uh, the concept is uh, farmers are beginning to understand it. We went down and saw some of the side and then we heard from the farmers that uh, so the thing is uh, they, 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 they like the idea and that they think that this is a good technology. For this one also, they bought all the equipment that they promised that they're going to buy. They've got the knapsack sprayers, they've got the chemicals 
and they've given uh, resources to the resources to the directorate to uh, make sure that uh, farmers are provided with a required amount of fertilizer, and then they will also make sure that uh, uh, guys identify the identified people at regional level who will be closely attached to the project to monitor you know what is going on at the region or at the centers or at also with the farmers who have been selected to um, uh, uh, carry out this trial. Recently, a training of trainers workshop on conservation agriculture in horticulture was organized by the Department of Agriculture, funded by the P2RS project. It was organized from 18 to the 21st December 2017 in LRR. It aims at augmenting the knowledge of agri-field staff on conservation agriculture technology for onward transmission to horticultural farmers in the project intervention areas. The horticulture component was a success, with most of the mixed farming centers having the anticipated yield. This proved the difference between the two methods in terms of yield, labor, and cost. In all these four regions where these programs have been implemented, I can tell you that uh, uh, from the yield we are receiving, if we are receiving maybe 2.5 uh, or 3 point, we are now getting into uh, 5 point uh, yield per hectare uh, of uh, 6 point yield per hectare uh, thereabout. This program uh, is a pilot program, uh, but the facilities are given by the management of P2RS. All the facilities in terms of input uh, are given in terms of equipment to enhance this program. So far, we have significant uh, you know, yield difference as far as this program is concerned. So the challenges are that some uh, extension workers do not uh, understand the basics uh, that is why we are bringing them for training. The basics in terms of, because the program, you will really need to apply a fertilizer, you know, and do the right agronomic practices, you know, especially also herbicide application. The main thing, challenge we have is with uh, herbicide uh, application. You know, sometimes extension workers who do not understand the dosage uh, will overdose the, the crops. But that is very, very few. If it is 10, maybe you are probably talking about only one case. It's an, uh, those are isolated cases. And that is why we, we, bro we are bringing them over to train them uh, over and over so that they understand you know, uh, the, the basic you know, you know, agronomic practices, and especially in terms of fertilizer application and, 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 and herbicide application. The role of uh, regional agricultural directors is multifaceted in this training. One, this is a TOT, training of trainers, and basically it is the extension workers that are directly under the regional agricultural directors that have been trained here. So, as a supervisor, you should be almost at par or even above your supervisors. So that's why regional directors are coping into this training, and for most cases they are being used as resource persons to be able to deliver on the topical areas that are going to be related to during the step-down training. Uh, this training principally is uh, conservation agriculture. It's a very important farming system. It was gaining momentum around Africa. And the Gambia, as far as we are concerned, this is the second year, thanks to the P2R project on the NEMA that is uh, sponsoring this particular activity. Conservation agriculture have a lot of tools in the tool basket of conservation agriculture. So agroforestry is one tool that has been used widely because we want to introduce trees in the farming system. Agroforestry, as the name implies, is the combination, the judicious combination of trees and crops and or livestock in the same farming system. Uh, carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. If you plant a lot of trees in a farming system, wherever the tree may be, because it's, it's a global activity, carbon is all over, wherever that tree may be, it is going to be a very good carbon sink for the atmosphere. There is very limited available land for production. This is why we think in conservation we can maximally use
the available area that is in the urban for the best interest of our production and processing. Because you know very well that uh, agriculture nowadays is talking about value addition, value chain. And in value chain, it is from production to the table. And when you look at the population in this country, urban can be the anchor point for boosting production in this country because this is where you have more able people with the purchasing power to buy and they are not producing. And if you are talking about production, processing and marketing, you know, for me, urban participation is not a waste because you have farmers in urban areas who do, who do not have a big land, but the small area that they have, they can explore the techniques of conservation agriculture.